welcome back to the research world in this video we are going to discuss the methodological gap in the research so let's start first we will define what is methodological research so methodological research gap is the missing gap of knowledge on a more appropriate underlying methods which can be used in the research instead of the previously one it simply means that there can be a number of different methods techniques then can that can be used in your research study that are being used previously further a methodological gap is the type of gap that deals with the conflict that occurs due to the influence of methodology on the research results the results of different methods the results of different techniques on your research problem may give you the different results so remember that in the research there are diverse multiple methods utilized to arrive at the valid research findings so in nutshell there are several methods that a researcher can adopt to get better and more reliable research results therefore in each stage of the research process a researcher is expected to identify methodological knowledge gap which should lead to more authentic results it means that a variety of techniques designs and methods are available and that those methods or the techniques should be applied that gives you more better and the reliable research research results that are not being used in the previous studies so let's discuss what are the sources of methodological gap so research problem this is the very first step very first stage in the research process and there can be the variety of research designs you came across there can be descriptive studies exploratory studies correlational experimental and the diagnostic so for example if you are going to choose a particular research topic and there are a number of the descriptive or the correlational studies have been done in the previous literature but you are going to use some other research design that you think will give more accurate and appropriate results so that will be your methodological gap or in case of the data measurement there can be different scales nominal ordinal interval scale or the ratio scale now there are the chances that in the previous studies some other scales were being used but in your study you are going to use some other scale that you think will give you more accurate and authentic results and you will have to justify that method as well similarly in case of the data collection in case of the data analysis there are variety of the techniques there are variety of the tools that can be used by the researcher which are not being used in the previous studies but the main point that you need to give the proper justification that why the use of such methods give you the more accurate and the authentic results so let's discuss some examples of the methodological research for example let's suppose a particular study on the relationship between implies attendance and implies performance has been performed previously some particular author some particular researcher has conducted this particular research in the previous days he has collected the data and the source of the data was the primary data and he used the questionnaire mode of collecting the data that is the researcher distributed the questionnaires among the implies and the implies filled those questionnaires and returned back to the researcher and the researcher after collecting those questionnaires performed several types of the tests so this is the case of the previous study but 
you are interested to study the relationship between imply attendance and the imply performance with a different angle with a different technique with a different method for example you are going to collect the secondary data now the question is how you will get the secondary data so this the answer of this question is that is the annual implies performance reports that are available with the organization so you can collect the annual implies performance reports and you can get the secondary data from those reports now the main question is over here that you need to basically justify that why you are going to use the secondary data and not the primary data so now you can give the justification that as the data collected from the implies themselves may be subjected to the biasness it may subject it to the objections because the implies will never ever give negative or adverse uh, answers or remarks about their attendance and performance while in case of the secondary data these reports have already been published and the reports have been published by the higher authorities so there is no chance of the biasness so if you are going to use the secondary source of the data instead of the primary data that will be your methodological research gap and you have provided the justification as well let's take an, another example some researcher in the past has used different statistical functions for performing different sorts of the tests he has used mean standard deviation minimum and maximum values range and the variance to describe the study variables now if we look in case of the statistical functions these all values that is the uh, standard deviations minimum and maximum values range and variance to describe the study these are all the measures of the dispersion while the mean or the average is the measure of the central tendency now if you are going to use a similar nature of the study and you did not use those minimum and maximum values range and variance instead you are going to use the standard deviation only why what is the justification because minimum and the maximum values your range and variance these are all covered in the standard deviation that is you are if you are going to uh, use the standard deviation these uh, functions will be covered in the standard deviation so you can switch to a single mode of the statistical function and you are going to avoid the other statistical functions so this can also be your methodological research gap last but not the least some another example that a researcher in the past has conducted a study to measure the performance of the banks his dependent variable is the bank while his independent variables to measure the performance of the bank are service quality innovation technology and the imply commitment now if you are going to conduct a similar nature of the study so you can use some other independent variables as well for example staff behavior that can be your one of the independent variables you can also use the implies qualifications in your independent variables and the list goes on so you can make a new combination of the independent variables or you can basically take out some independent variables and enter or uh, take some other independent variables so that will give a new combination but again you need to provide some justification that why you are going to use some other methods some other variables than which are previously being used in the research studies thank you for watching Hopefully this video will help you in understanding and clarifying the concept of the methodological gap. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon and comment on my YouTube videos.